Ball bearings are inside here, right? So we don't want it soaked constantly in water or in finish. It'll get in there and it'll stop the rolling process. We have a slightly different, this is, it's not on a cage. So why? They don't crush. That's why when we tell you to use a $12 roller, I'm telling you for a reason. It's gonna make your life a lot easier. The whole point of these is a, a normal paint roller will crush. So as you start here, it's perfect. It's a 3 8 nap. It's going all perfectly. By the time you get to the end, you're lucky if it's an eighth of an inch nap, right? Because you're pressing down on it. You're smashing it. It's not meant to hold these kinds of products. These are specifically formulated for these products. So this is a blue cap. This is called a Micro 6080 roller, okay? This is going to be used for all of our oil systems, be it intensive or impact all transparent. We're also using this for our PU280, the Vaco moisture barrier right, on concrete, because we want that product super thin. When I said before, wetter is better for water, thin to win with oil, okay? The more oil you put down, guess what? The more oil you're gonna have to take off. You don't wanna do all that extra work for yourself. Make your life easier. That's why these products are formulated the way they are. So again, there's a little A and 18. Match up the hardener cans, B18. They do have some slightly different colors on some of them. But yes, I get it, all the labels look the same. It's company branding, it's kind of the, the look that we have, so just read the, the numbers. 18 matches up with 18, it's a one to one ratio. On the mixing cup, you also saw that there was a 10 to one ratio for water-based, there is a five to one ratio for the oil. This is thicker, so we're normally putting this into a gallon. This is closer to a half gallon, so it's double the hardener in this product, okay? So you're doing a five to one ratio versus a 10 to one with the water bases. I'm not gonna go ahead and bother saving a little bit. We're gonna go ahead and do it here. So just in case if we do wanna put it somewhere else, we'll just have it done already, right? So, but I'm gonna show you how to mix it properly. Pot life is usually about three hours. So most of the time we only mix about two cans at a time, right? This can right here is going 550 square feet. Super thin, half gallon, 500 feet. We're going 500 feet with a gallon of finish. So you're putting it on half as thin. Okay, so super thin with this stuff. This is why we use a shorter nap roller as well. So why we also do, you'll mix it up a little bit, put the can inside. I'll go ahead and I'll mix some of it in here. I'll put it in. Most of the time, I really like to use a bigger quart can. So I'll get like a container if I'm doing one or two of these at a time. When you put all the hardener inside here, there's very little headspace in order to go ahead and put the, the, uh, the actual rod inside, the mixing, the mixing paddle, and actually mix it up. So that's why we want to, sometimes if I'm doing it and I batch two of them together, all right, you need a little bit of a gallon can, put it into like a two gallon mixing container and mix it all up together. Try not to go more than uh, a thousand square feet at a time. You're just not gonna have to, enough time to take it off. We're gonna let it sit for about 45 minutes. Maximum is about an hour and a half. So you have it from the time you start it to the time you take it off about that window of opportunity. Once it goes a little bit too far, it's gonna start to get sticky on you. It's gonna be a headache to remove. And I would like to wear gloves with all of this stuff. I mean, these are penetrating oils, there's colors. So you'll have nice oily hands for a few days. If you want that kind of softness, go for it. I like to use gloves though. Okay, so same thing. Put the hardener in. And then we'll go ahead and mix it up. So the instructions say three minutes, okay? So don't think, oh yeah, it's gonna be three minutes. Yeah, most of the time people think it's three minutes and it's more like 30 seconds. This is the time I'm actually gonna go ahead and get my stopwatch and I'll go ahead and I'll start it. Try to get to about two, two and a half minutes. Try to get as close to that three minutes as possible. Again, this is double the thickness of the hardener of the other one. You're working with a lot of it. What we noticed initially was when guys weren't mixing it properly all the way, they would pour it in like this. And it would be, the hardener would go into the middle, they would shake up the can, none of the outside of the can was hardened material. So they would put it on, half the floor would bleach out in a few weeks because it wasn't hardened, okay? So that's why when we say three minutes, yeah, we really wanted to go ahead and have it. So I'll mix it for about a minute, minute and a half in here. I'll pour out about half into the bucket. I'll mix the rest of the bottom and then I'll just stir it real quick inside the bucket. It just makes it a li life a lot easier. Again, I'd rather start off right and then finish right as well. I don't wanna have any hiccups along the way.
and then wipe off. I'm gonna use the same rag to wipe off the towel. And then guess what I got right next to me? A bucket of water. Have that with you. Have it on this job site, have it on a landing, put it on a piece of paper, have it there so when you go in, you can put your pads, you can put your rags, and you can put your stuff on top of it. Because, yeah, these are gonna be self-combustible. Okay? What you wanna do first is you wanna go lightly. Just get the product down. Don't squeeze out right away because you're gonna squeeze a lot of that stuff into it. You're gonna go ahead and get a lot of that, uh, that, that product down into some of the grains and the gaps. So you just kinda wanna almost just get it on a little bit. Nothing too crazy. And then you kinda work your way into it. And now you're pretty much gonna be walking on this stuff, right? So you're gonna be walking out of this product. So now you're gonna be going ahead and you're actually gonna be pressing down a little bit and working into those wet, those wet areas into the dry areas. Doesn't matter what direction you're going in. Why? We're buffing all of this excess off. So there is no direction, there is no footprint mattering, right? And you can still even see, we're not really pulling any of that gray color into the white right now, right? So that, that, that pigment is still down there. So now, somebody can come over here and roll this brown section real quick because I got way too much oil on this side. That is, you'll be here for days trying to take this off if you do your whole job site like this. What I found also is a nice method sometimes in your first few jobs is to have a second roller a dry roller, either be it this roller or the Micro 120 with a little bit bigger of a nap. And if your few initial sections are a little bit too much, come back and dry roll it off. And you press down on it. So now I'm able to take some of that oil back off of it. And now I can go into another section and go right back on top of it.